Um, in the last decade or so, I, I'd say at the Taxpayers Alliance, we've tried to cast the net a little bit broader. I mean, yes, we think about government and schools and taxes and spending, but you know, fundamentally, a lot of that rests on the economy. And one thing that we've been struck by uh, in the last decade or so also is how um, unproductive, shall we say, has been the political debate over the Wisconsin economy. Um, and for the most part, uh, there's a lot of heat and not much light. And, and so in late last year, we did a study that showed that Wisconsin's economy was actually a series of regional economies. Mm -hmm which was an important concept to get. And here, uh, it's that there is this huge tsunami <laughs> uh, descending on us, and we're fighting over monthly job statistics that don't mean that much anyway. If we're really going to talk about meaningful economic growth and employment and, and a state that is healthy economically so it can support public services, which we all want, um, then we've got to we got to think about the big strategic stuff that that different parts of the state vary mm -hmm. economically mm -hmm. and that we have some very fundamental demographic things that are going on. These are going on all over the country, don't get me wrong. It's just that we're more so and earlier. Um, given our economic mix here, industry mix, uh, we do not have the numbers of jobs at the salary levels that could uh, absorb all of the engineers, computer programmers, science researchers, et cetera, those, those ki accountants, those kinds of occupations. So we tend to export them to Minneapolis, Chicago, Denver, New York, whatever. You, you say in here two things, and I want to get it right. Um, 11 counties will see a 20% decrease in working age population, mm -hmm. but let's put it in context, through 2040. Mm -hmm. These are, but 13 counties, two more, will see a decrease of 10% mm -hmm. in working age mm -hmm. population. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, north of Highway 29, only like two counties will see a growth. Mm -hmm. It's interesting though when you look at the average incomes of and family sizes of people going to Minnesota it's low income and it's low, small family size it's what we just said it's young people going to the Twin Cities. The 20s and 30s. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, it's really a lot of Illinois people and um, uh, I mean we, they go both ways. I understand. Um, but uh, and Michigan, which of course Michigan was economically, you know, hit very hard. We're, we are we are importing from states that are economically worse off than we are. <laughs> and Wisconsin wages have been below the national average for a long time, and this is why I think this whole debate over job numbers is sort of silly, mm -hmm. because it, it, you know if you if you're growing jobs but you're not growing wages, then you know where are you? Um, we were within three or four percent of the national average in 1970. That decade of the 80s that just killed this state. Um, our average wages dropped to about you know 10 percent below, and actually we've been bouncing around between about 10 and 15 percent below the national average ever since.